Hey guys, it's Tim here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the 10 reasons why I would be a physical therapist all over again. I know you hear me on this channel talk a lot about the financial aspects of being a physical therapist and why the debt to income ratio is something to really consider. But today's video, I'm gonna stay positive. I'm gonna talk about the pros, why I would become a physical therapist again. And I think that you're gonna really enjoy this video and find these reasons very interesting, especially number four and number 10, because I could never have imagined the career turning out the way it has. So let's take a look at some of these reasons. All right, let's dive into the first reason why I think physical therapy is a great career and why I would become a PT all over again. And that reason is because we are movement experts and we can use this movement analysis every day in the clinic. I mean, do you know how cool it is to learn all the muscles, the bones, the joints, the nerves of the human body? Taking anatomy class is really difficult. Don't get me wrong. It moves very quickly uh, through PT school, but it really is amazing to know how, how it all works together and, and how we can affect so many people uh, through movement because movement affects our life and our daily uh, quality of living so much and we, we take it for granted. But being able to analyze movement with the understanding of how our bones and our joints and our muscles work together, that's just one element of how we can take our expertise to help people restore their movement because of our specialized training. It's one of the most fulfilling parts of, of the job. And if you're a lifelong learner and you love anatomy, you love the the ability to, to know how, how the body moves physical therapy is gonna be really fascinating to you. So that's one of the reasons why I would pick physical therapy all over again. All right, the second reason is that physical therapists are active. Actually, it can be a really tiring job, but in a good way, because as a physical therapist, you are on your feet probably 75% of the day, and the other 25%, you're probably behind a computer typing your notes, but most of the time you're actually working with patients, interacting them, with them uh, during the sessions. And I usually end up doing a lot of the exercises with the patients, which is probably why I end up tired, uh, but something I enjoy. It's something that I think people enjoy about the career, getting up, moving, moving around. Some people think that you just exercise and work out all day and get paid to do that. Uh, it's not really like that. I do a lot of the exercises with my patient, but it's not exactly a workout that I would I would do on my own because these exercises that I that come up with, these are designed to help people overcome their aches and their pains or to restore their strength after a surgery. And, and while a lot of them will make make sense to, to do, they're, they're tiring, they're, they're effective exercises, it's not necessarily uh, the workout training that I would do in the gym, but it's still fun and active to move around and it is tiring after a long day if you've been working with 10 people doing exercises with them. Number three is job hour flexibility. Now, when my first job, when I first graduated from PT school, I worked a four 10 hour day at the clinic and, and that was a wonderful shift. I loved it. Not every PT has the, uh, the same hours or the ability to, to work four tens, but there is a good chance that you can negotiate uh, a flexible work shift, work hours as a physical therapist. And I was really fortunate out of school to, to work four 10 hour days with Fridays off. It gave me the ability to focus on my online business so I can make videos and resources on my blog, PT Progress, and videos like this for you, which leaves me to the fourth point, which is the ability to work part-time. And for a lot of people, this is such a huge, huge benefit of, of being a physical therapist because you can work uh, with your clinic to cut back your hours so you can go down to a part-time basis if you need more time to manage things outside of the clinic. And for me, it was a perfect setup because I was able to transition to a part-time work in the clinic. And then I worked as a home health physical therapist on the side. And I still had the flexibility uh, to create videos like this one and helpful content on the website as my creative outlet. And if you're curious about how I created a website to generate income, come on the side, just give the video a like. Let me know in the comments with the word PT side hustle and I'll make a video about side hustles you can do as a physical therapist to make extra money as well. Okay, number five is having a variation in patience or just the ability to work with different people almost daily on a, on a weekly basis. Your, your patient caseload will change and you're constantly seeing new people with new diagnoses. And as a physical therapist in an outpatient setting, you're gonna see anywhere from three to maybe seven evaluations for the week. Your day might consist of maybe eight patients, upwards of 15 patients, depending on the clinic or the setup and how many hours you're working that day. But it seems like there's no day that is exactly the same, which is kind of nice about physical therapy. There's always something different going on, which I really enjoy because it keeps you on your toes and then it makes the day go by pretty quickly and you can look forward to um, what, what you have on your, your plate for to the next day, uh, which I think is also fascinating because uh, here, not every day is the same and, and not every day is cookie cutter. So you do have to think ahead on how you're going to progress someone, uh, what you have in store for the next day. So I think it keeps you on your toes. It's not a job where you just sit back and you let the phone calls come in like a, like a desk job. You have to be proactive 
about the work that you're doing. All right, the sixth reason why I would choose physical therapy again is because of the autonomy in the work that I have, the, the ability to manage my workday how I want to. Now, this, this means different things for different people, uh, different therapists even, and especially in the United States when you have direct access here uh, and we really do have true autonomy in evaluating and, and treating patients in many states that offer that true direct access uh, without physician referral. But I'm referring more to the autonomy that I have as a clinician to guide my treatments um, for the entire session and even moving forward, looking ahead to make sure that my future visits with these patients are moving towards our goals. Because it's up to you as a physical therapist to make sure that you're progressing the way that you need to uh, or the patient needs progressing that, that they need to and, and to be um, including other healthcare professionals that may need to be involved as well. You are the professional here. You are the expert. That's why I love this job because you have the autonomy to make the decisions to guide that patient to their recovery. But you also need to know what you know and what you don't know so you can find someone who knows uh, what you need to know in case there's something that needs to be known. I'm just gonna leave that in there. Seriously though, we are experts in what we know and knowing our boundaries um, is just one responsibility that we have as physical therapists to include other healthcare providers. I love that we have a, a high degree of expertise and can really help people beyond a typical physician's office, not to knock a physician because I can't do certain things that a physician would do. So we rely on each other in, in different careers and within healthcare to make those decisions that need to be made for the best interest of the patient. And having a, the autonomy to do that, to guide their treatment is something that I really value in our field of physical therapy. Number seven is creativity through patient education. And if you didn't know, physical therapy is a career that is highly focused on patient education. And it's one of the most important aspects of our daily interactions with patients because we are educators and our patients, they're our students and they all learn differently. So it's our opportunity then to be creative in our approach to teach people in a lot of different ways. It's kind of like having a, a job as a teacher or customer service representative, maybe even sales and motivational speaking all tied up into one job, except you don't live in a van down by the river. Unless you're a travel physical therapist, then you might actually uh, live in your van. That might make sense. If you know where that reference is from, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll move right on to number eight. Number eight is a six-figure salary potential. Now, speaking of travel physical therapists, this is one of the best ways to increase your income as a PT. And even as a new graduate, you can work as a travel PT through agencies like Med Travelers, uh, working short-term contracts at clinics throughout the country. And, and the great part about that is that your pay is a lot higher than the average physical therapist's starting salary, which is around 68,000. Uh, in fact, working a home health, or even travel or as a per diem physical therapist, you do have the potential to earn well over $100,000 a year. Uh, if you're not interested in, in that type of work or traveling and you just wanna work at a local clinic, the average physical therapist salary, uh, according to the ELS, is in the mid 80,000 range, which is great. I mean, it's well above the national average for a lot of careers. Um, this is the average salary. This is not the starting salary, talked about the starting salary in another video. That really depends on your region and the type of work you do. But the bottom line, number eight, you do have a high salary potential and there's a good chance for uh, financial success if you're wise with your money, which is why I'm here to help educate you on how to be financially healthy. We'll get into more of those videos later, but on to number nine. Number nine is that you get a front row seat to helping people meet their goals. Look, there's nothing more fulfilling in my work as a physical therapist than getting a really heartfelt thank you from a patient who's able now to, to walk with less pain or, or someone who, who never thought they would walk again after an amputation. Uh, they're taking laps around the clinic and I always wanna pass that credit on to my patients because they're, they're working really hard. They're putting in the work to do that, but it really is a good feeling. It's a great feeling to know that you're making a difference uh, through the lives of these people uh, with the work that you're doing every week. <clears throat> you're getting choked up here. Don't get choked up. And finally on to number 10, I really, I really do think that opportunities here in physical therapy are endless. You just rewind the clock back 15 to 20 years and, and the only way for people to, to learn from a physical therapist was by going to the clinic and then seeing that physical therapist face to face. And uh, the opportunities that we have now, I mean, to, to impact people online, within our communities, through social media, they, they've really completely opened a new way for us to use our skills as physical therapists to, to make a difference in people's lives, to educate them on how to move better. And, and that's pretty exciting to me. I hope you get some ideas from this channel about ways to maximize your career in physical therapy. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Give it a like if you found it to be helpful or interesting, and I'll see you in the next video.